Hello everybody, I'm Richter and this will be another day of Lead Code 30 Day Challenge. Problem name is left column with at least a one. And I could easily look up the statement because if you go to the main page of Lead Code in the news section, I, I find it a bit strange or maybe interesting that here you can see the statement. I didn't read it or at least I didn't think about it. Uh, so let's just start here. Apparently that was information that this new problem is posted, I guess. Interactive problem, binary matrix uh, with element 0 and 1. Row is Every row is started in non-decreasing order, so it will be 0, 0, 0 and then a lot of 1s. For sure it suggests binary search. Given a row sorted binary matrix, return the leftmost column with at least a single 1 in it. Left was column, okay. Such index doesn't exist, return minus one. Uh, this should be a better example. Among columns, this is something with at least a single one. This is not such thing. So for some suffix, some rightmost columns, it will satisfy the fact that there's at least a single one. What compl is there some particular re complexity they require? No, there isn't. Uh, we can do binary search for every row and then the complexity will be O of height of the grid times log of row size, row of uh, log of width. We can do better, but it's quite complicated. There is an article about it in Code Forces. I will code it here, but without you know explanations in detail, you can read about it more there. Let's start with this. For every row separately, I will binary search this. Uh, how do I read the size? But, but get dimensions. A list of two elements, which means the matrix is this. But is that a vector? Oh, here it is. Vector of int, yes. Okay. Uh, int height is which dimension is which? N should be the height, I think binary matrix dot dimensions I think that nowadays this is possible tie hw is this maybe it's only for pairs if it won't compile I will fix that for every row Use binary search to find the first one. Zero high is w minus one. Find first digit one. First one. If it is, if I need to ask get first it's x then row i find those mm, coordinates strange zero indexed they didn't describe which the like x is row or column if they are talking about rows and columns this should be r and c now x normally in math x goes to the right y goes up but it's quite uncommon here there is this example I will assume that first is row. I don't know if that's correct. If this is one, then best is mid, and where I can find better one on the left. This is a variable, and now if not minus one then do something among those first ones i can i should find the very first one so what about just saying that initial answer is width and whenever i find a one i say answer is mean of answer and mid then i don't need this extra variable does it, is it okay return oh return answer 
what if doesn't exist then print minus one right yes and this will be of height times logarithm compilation error my tie is incorrect i didn't know if it works for vectors of size two this is a temporary vector run code i will judge it for one more input custom test case i can copy this because here height and width are not equal if there is any issue with that it should be found in this test seems correct accepted and what about like, now a challenge you can stop a video i think about something better than this and that is for every next row if you already found that the best my phone is ringing what was i doing for every row we can binary search but there is a trick that once you found that there is one on some position five you're only interested in whether we can improve this score if you had already this let's say this row now if a new row is like that it doesn't matter where exactly this one is so it helps to make the first query as false when we have this next row like that you don't know what each character is maybe it's better to fill this with question marks you ask about this position just before the first one you already know so far if this is zero then you don't care about this row if this is one then you do care and you binary search sometimes uh, sometimes you will ask only one query for a new row this would be as follows low is this high what about this high is just answer minus one uh, well this the new binary search and let's say the very first query is like that uh, also i will here add and answer is not zero because if it's zero then you cannot improve it further uh, do this if uh, this of row comma high is equal to zero then skip uh, otherwise this is one and you binary search and what's the complexity of this pessimistically it's still h times log of n but the cool thing is that if you ask about rows in random order so here uh, there is some order fill it with things from one from zero to h minus one order pushback i and num random shuffle so scramble this order then and here for intro in this order uh, what did i say if oh, if answer is equal zero already then break don't continue anymore and i claim that this is on average we will ask about logarithmically many rows it, the number of times we get into this binary search is logarithm of, of the number of rows so the total expected complexity is log square or log of height times log of width this is much better than a plus of course for every query we need one uh, for for every row we need a one extra query this one so this is the complexity instead of h times log i have h plus log square but it's quite complicated why it is log square so i think i'm not going to explain it today accepted and i will link this article in the description or in the pinned comment below the video i hope you enjoyed this including the harder version but sorry for not going into more detail but it would be just uh, too hard and not fitting the problem uh, i what the main thing you should remember is that the main thing you should remember is that there is some binary search going on 
actually one more thing I wanted to finish, but there's now I think there is also linear solution with two pointers, right? What and it for big width it will be worse than my extra solution. But this should be to ask about this one and then continue moving to the left. If you know that the answer is here, then for every next row, try to move this answer to the left. Yeah, that should be fine. I, do I want to implement it? I can. Do this for every row. I would miss that because just, you know, not, not always you see all the possible solutions. Maybe maybe hints say something about that, I don't know. While binary matrix, this would be called two pointers, I think, uh, of row, comma, answer minus one is one, then minus minus answer. And while answer is greater than zero, if answer is equal width, answer is minus one, comment everything else, run code, uh, yeah, the number of times I can decrease the answer by one is just of width plus this height, so of height times plus width. This is, what am I seeing? Accepted compilation error? Oh, uh, that. There is a well-known problem on lead code called sorted matrix. Lead code, sorted matrix. Search a 2D matrix, I think it's this one. Uh, you should solve that one as well. It searches for a value. Yeah, it can, can be this. There is another one, maybe this one. So you should solve them as something similar. Submit. Plenty of solution today. Uh, now we can finish. As I said, when there are zeros and then ones, you can binary search that. But also sometimes you can avoid binary search by using two pointers and going for a grid in a smart way. So practice those two mentioned problems as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you tomorrow again. Bye bye. Let's quickly analyze what h times log of w the solution does. It first binary searches in the first row. So asks about the very middle element. Let's say this is zero. And then once it means here there will be zeros. We don't need to ask about them and it continues searching here. Let's say that there is one here in the middle, then we know that ones are on the right. So those cells are for now queries. Uh, then middle of that, let's say it's this element and it's zero. Then ask here, let's say it's one. Then we know this is so far the best answer. And what we can do in the second row is just again binary search. Let's say middle is zero, then I'm binary searching here. Uh, let's say this is zero, then I'm binary searching here, and so on. And the speed up of the second solution is that I wouldn't need to continue binary searching. Like that's a possible break or continue uh, command in our code, because for now, for sure, this will not find a better answer. Or even better, we should just, in the very first place, ask about this cell, because this is a possible improvement. If this is zero, then second row doesn't matter and we don't need to binary search exactly. But let's say we did binary search, we found that this is first one, those are zeros, those are ones, so st still this is the best. Mm, then third row, binary search, let's say this is one, then we binary search here, this is zero, binary search here, this is one, and done. And everything here there is once and so far this is the answer and we continue doing so. The second fast solution was not only I first ask about whether answer improves so this would be my sec query, first query in the second row and I wouldn't do more but also we do that in random order of rows this way we kind of protect against malicious tests because if you can imagine a test where there is a grid and just one, 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 one on the anti-diagonal, all the ones here, all the zeros here. Then going row by row, we 
always will find out that there is a one that improves the answer, but binary search here does nothing. So here we wouldn't gain anything. But asking in random order, it turns out that the average number of new rows that improve the answer, it's logarithm of w. What does linear solution do, h plus w, without any binary searches? It first looks at the first row and it wonders if there is a 1 over here. So asks about this, this cell, let's say it's 1. Then we know this is answer. Let's say a is answer. Then asks about this cell. Let's say also 1. Then this is the answer. And then ask about this next query, this next cell, it's 0. What should we now ask in the second row? Well, if there is the first one is here or there, I don't care about it. I just want to improve the answer by one. So I wonder, maybe this is the answer. Then ask about this cell, question mark. Maybe it's zero. So then continue to the next row. Does third row improve the answer? Ask about this cell, learn that it's one. Then we know, oh, this is the answer for now. And try to keep improving it. Ask about this cell, one, answer improved. Ask about this cell, one, answer improved. Uh, then this one, zero, continue to the next row. Maybe zero, continue to the next row. Uh, let's say one, 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 answer is here. Zero, ask here. Where do we ask? Only this cell can improve the answer. Uh, but let's say it's zero. And this path that I drew, this thing, is the length of it is the number of queries we asked. Even if we get to this uh, bottom left cell, because possibly we could just make this path or this path, it will be shorter. If we already learned that there's one here, we wouldn't continue at all. We wouldn't ask more queries. Or we could just keep asking about this cell and it would be all zeros. Then again, we wouldn't get to bottom left corner. But the worst case is that we get here and then the number of steps down, like the step down, step down, just think what this path does. Like it is a series of moves starting from this cell, left, left, down, down, and so on, left, left. The number of moves down is height minus one. The number of moves to the left in this path is w minus one. So the total number of moves is h plus w plus w minus two plus the initial cell. This will be the exact limit for the number of queries we ask. Where it's first cell and then every step left or down, but there is some limit for the number of steps we take.